Introduction I'd never really prayed as an adult until I was invited to in the late 1990s. At first, I could barely pray for five minutes by myself. As I started praying with others, including pastors and church members, slowly things changed. I read books, went to conferences, and attended prayer events. Now, that feels like a warm-up. An hour of prayer seems like five minutes to me. It really began when I learned to pray using the Bible. The Bible is full of people talking to God. All the great stories and characters in the Bible are of people who prayed. Ephesians is my favorite book for prayers after the Psalms. It has many prayers of Paul asking God's will for the church. I think of it as a manual for practical prayer. My list from Ephesians has 23 prayers. Lists are good because they help me stay focused. Though not all 23 are actual prayers, some are things to pray for. Praying these is asking God's will, and we can expect answers. All of these should be added to your regular prayers, for your church and all God's children. Praying isn't complicated. You just need to know what to do and then actually do it. I wrote this book because too many people don't know how to begin praying the Bible. They often use their own unbiblical prayers, which is why I created this book based on Ephesians. Using this list, you won't wonder what God says He wants. You can pray in line with His will and stay on track. It's a practical and good starting place for new intercessors. Here you will learn to pray as the Apostle does, going before the Father, bowing your knees, asking these things be given by Him. Things like grace, wisdom, hope, and strength. It's not all you can pray, of course, but a lot of what can be prayed. We neglect these to our hurt, but when we include them, we can expect the Lord to answer as only He can. Every single one of these items prayed for is what He wants to give His children. As you read this book, begin praying these daily. Not all of them each day. Just one a day would be more than is being prayed now. And share with another believer. When two or three are gathered in prayer, Jesus is there. You don't always have to be in the same room. Just commit to one other person that you'll both be praying these. Keep a log or a journal of prayers so you can record additional points for them and answers when they come. I suspect if more Christians would do something so simple, we would see the Lord moving among His people. One more thing as we get started. We have a study guide for your use or for a small group study. In it are key points from each chapter, plus just three study questions to prompt further thought and discussion. Included are some additional insights from Bounds, Spurgeon, McLaren, and Begg. And there is a printable page of all 23 prayers to put in your prayer notebook. You have one, right? Or copy and pass them to your prayer team. That's free when you simply subscribe to our newsletter. Your welcome email will contain a link to download the study guide. And again, that's free when you subscribe at epaphraspraise.blog.